One way to prove that certain numbers are irrational using a visual argument follows from the Carpets Theorem. The Carpets Theorem states that if you have a room and you place two carpets in the room, say like this, then the room is cut up into four different regions. The regions that we see here are the region covered only by the first carpet, which we call X, the region overlapped by both carpets called Y, the uncovered region W, and the region only covered by carpet 2, which we call Z. Therefore, the area of the room using this labeling is X plus Y plus W plus Z. From this diagram, we can also compute the area of the carpets. We see that the first carpet covers an area of X plus Y, and the second carpet covers an area of Z plus Y. We have Y twice because that's the area of overlap between the two carpets. Using these two expressions, we see that the area of the room is equal to the area of the carpets if and only if X plus Y plus W plus Z is equal to X plus Y plus Z plus Y. But then we can cancel the X from both sides, the Y from both sides, and the Z from both sides, leaving us with W equals Y. This means that the area of the room is equal to the area of the carpets if and only if W equals Y. But this is equivalent to the uncovered area equaling the area of the overlaps between the two carpets. This is the Carpets Theorem. Now let's suppose that the square root of 2 is rational, so that a squared equals 2b squared for two integers a and b. This means that we have an a by a square that equals two b by b squares added together. If we consider the a by a square as the room, and the two b by b squares as the carpets, we get this diagram here. We see that there is an overlap, which is a square with side length 2b minus a, and the uncovered area is two squares with side length a minus b. According to the Carpets Theorem, the overlap region is equal to the uncovered region. This means that we have the quantity 2b minus a squared is equal to two times the quantity a minus b squared. This means we've produced a smaller pair of positive integer solutions to the equation x squared equals 2y squared. Now the idea is just to repeat this process. We see that we can keep repeating the same process over and over again. Each time, we use the Carpets Theorem to realize that the overlap square we produce is equal to the sum of the areas of the two uncovered squares. But if we do this forever, we've produced an infinite list of positive integer solutions that are getting smaller at each stage. It's impossible to have an infinite list of decreasing positive integers, so we have a contradiction, and this means that the square root of 2 cannot be rational. The proof that the square root of 3 is irrational is almost identical. Let's imagine that a squared equals 3b squared, where a and b are integers, so that the square root of 3 is the rational a over b. This means that the square root of 3 over 4 times a squared is equal to 3 times the square root of 3 over 4 times b squared, as we multiplied by the constant square root of 3 over 4. And this assumption implies that the area contained in the equilateral triangle with a side length of a is equal to the sum of the areas inside the three equilateral triangles with side lengths b. Using the large equilateral triangle as the room and the three small equilateral triangles as the carpets, we see that there is some overlap in uncovered space. The triangles that overlap have a side length of 2b minus a, and the uncovered region is an equilateral triangle with a side length 2a minus 3b. This means that these areas are equal by the Carpets Theorem. So we see that 2a minus 3b quantity squared is equal to 3 times the quantity 2b minus a squared. We again produced a smaller pair of positive integers satisfying the equation x squared equals 3y squared. And once again, we can repeat this process over and over again. Once again, this repetition allows us to produce an infinite collection of decreasing positive integer solutions to x squared equals 3y squared. This is a contradiction as no such decreasing positive integer list exists. Therefore, square root of 3 cannot be rational and must be irrational.